Hello, here's a quick tutorial. I'd like to mention some common issues uh, when you do the retarget animation. So here I want to show you an example first. Um, double click. Uh, this is animation I did retargeting using the Mixamo uh, rig uh, mapped it into an office rig, uh, the, the city office pack. So I, just, I will just call this as office pack rig. Uh, so this is the, all the uh, rigs, uh, all the characters from that package. And you can see in this one, this is a rig. And uh, if I look at the bones, uh, you can see this one actually has three finger hand rather than five fingers. Right? Keep that in mind. And this finger's name is um, hand. Then you go to sum. You have several finger joints for the sum. You have index. And then you have finger 0, 2, 3, 4. This is actually the middle finger. Okay, So keep that in mind. It's a three finger character. However, when I have my Mixamo characters, if I open that up, you can see my Mixamo character has five fingers. Right? So it's right here. Five fingers. So this could be an issue. Uh, later we will do the retargeting. It could mess up the, the name of the fingers. Uh, that's the reason when you uh, look at this generated animation, uh, sometimes you can see there's one finger looks like this way, super long. Let's turn off the display. You can see this finger is totally wrong, right? The reason is if I check the index, I think this is the, uh, the other hand. This is on the right hand. Right. You can see there's one finger is really long. It's just because the mapping is somehow messed up. Right. So to fix this kind of issue, you have to go back to the original rig. Uh, you don't have to do anything in the Mixamo finger. Uh, these five fingers, that's correct. But for the office um, rig, you have to go to the retarget manager. When you do the auto mapping, you have this option to show the ones. In advanced display, you can see this is individual bones right here. So what I did is I manually changed uh, this index to index 01, index 2, I changed to index 02. You know, this is the left first. Then I go through this manually for the middle finger. In the middle finger, the 1 should map into 1, 2 mapping to 2, 3 mapping to 3. So you don't have the 4. So you have to do this manually. And also, if you have something like, um, this is five finger, right? So some of the fingers, you definitely want to do none. Pinky is none, none, none. The ring is none, none, none. So just make sure you go through these fingers manually. Uh, the thumb, this is uh, mapped correctly. And then the lower arm twist, you don't have that. So just change to none. Index, you have three index, three middle, no pinky no ring, right? so you have to do this, just follow the order manually. Once you set up this correctly, then you can save the file, then you can do the retargeting one more time. Uh, that should work, uh, should solve the problem. Okay, So just make sure you do this before uh, you do the retargeting. So right now, I have this Mixamo map into this character. This character is three finger character. Already did this mapping manual, then you do the retargeting. That's it. Hello, here's a quick tutorial. I'd like to talk quickly how you can customize the characters in Unreal. So you can have a different color of clothes, or maybe different color of hair and the beard. Uh, one example is uh, this one. You can see the original, let's call him Grandpa. Uh, has the white hair, uh, but for some reason, if I want to change him to a black bear, maybe change his jacket from yellow to green, uh, I will show you how to do it. Uh, so first thing, I want to quickly show you this package of character come from the office, uh, polygon office. So let's just call this as a office rig. So all the characters come from this package. They share the same rig. Uh, this rig called uh, boss female, right? So just keep in mind, boss female. That's a rig, and this rig start with a root and pelvis and a span. 
Okay, so keep in mind this is a hierarchy, and all the characters share this rig. It also means all the characters share the rig. Uh, in the future, if you have animation, this animation can be shared as well. So in my previous uh, tutorial, I covered if I have a Mixamo model um, come from the free library of Mixamo, I can you know retarget this uh, Mixamo rig into the female bus. Then we'll uh, click retarget. You can generate new animations. Uh, so this new animation has been generated right here. Uh, maybe let me do this really quick because I know this could be important in the future. Um, so let's give this character, I, I will just create a new folder here called animation. Okay. So um, the new animation related to this rig uh, will be simply put into this folder. So it will be easier we keep everything organized. All right. So in the animation, you have this animation, which is idle, uh, breathing idle. Okay? And also you can see all of these characters, they share this breathing idle animation. So I will show you quickly how you can actually customize the look of the grandpa uh, to make him has a different jacket, a uh, different color of hair. Okay. Um, so first, let me just get rid of these new uh, files we generated. Uh, so we can start from scratch. Okay. Delete. All right. We got. Um, also, I'm going to quickly to clean up uh, some of the folders so we're not getting the uh, redundant geometry. Okay. I will start from scratch. So first thing I do is I will export this as FBX. Right? So this is a grandpa with the T-pose with a yellow color jacket. Okay. So right click. Mm, actions export. Um, this is FBX. I will maybe put it in a place later I can find it. Uh, so let's call this grandpa old. I probably want to use FBX 2018 because I have Maya 2019. Uh, so no problem to open 18. Just make sure to keep everything as a default. Uh, you don't really need to export the root uh, motion, just keep in mind. So, export. So here in Maya, I'm going to uh, actually just bring in that FBX. So let's take a look. So here in, uh, I think I put this grandma, grandpa old here, just drag and drop. So see the uh, geometry is right here. Right. It's pretty good. Um, one thing I really want to highlight is automatically uh, Maya will put these two elements under a root node. Right? So this SK character boss mail 01, this is the name of the group. You also have the geometry, uh, this is the mesh, has exactly the same name. This is actually not good. Um, in the future, I probably want to rename it. Just because Maya can tolerate uh, two objects has exactly the same name, uh, but Unreal does not. So if you have identical names, usually you do want to actually at least rename one of them, uh, so you're not getting uh, errors in the future. Uh, so I will rename this. Another thing I like to mention is the root uh, hierarchy. If I hold the shift, uh, is actually all the bones. But the root is actually accidentally, not accidentally, is intentionally add underneath the root as well. This could cause some problems in the future. The reason is when you export this back into um, Unreal, this root, uh, this group node will be added on top of the root, uh, which will violate the hierarchies because uh, we know in an original rig, there's nothing above root. So here, I will do is to use middle button, drag and drop. So what happens is I make the root back outside the group node. You are not adding another layer on top. So for the skeleton, this is very picky. 
you don't want to change anything if your intention to bring this back you know to unreal in the future don't change the skeleton so here I'm gonna customize uh, the look of the grandpa. Uh, so here if it was number six, I can turn on the material, uh, it's gray. The reason is uh, if I check the shader network, you see this shader has a missing link. Uh, so this is a link. It's trying to find a file called PSD. I think this is probably the original Photoshop layers uh, the artist used to generate the original image. So we don't have that PSD anymore. But I think we have these um, textures in the texture folder. I think this is the first one, O1A. So we could actually just simply export this as an uh, image. Right? So you can export. Um, we basically change the file. Uh, since I'm using Maya, if you're using Blender, you can save as a different location. Uh, so I know Maya is usually you want to change or uh, save the file directly under the Maya folder. It has a project, has a default, has the source images. I actually already did that. Uh, so this is the location you want to save the Maya image. Okay, so it's a G, uh, TGA file. So here, I click the folder, I can reference to that TGA file. Okay, so it's basically a, a, a panel of many different color uh, with a lot of uh, pretty interesting way you can uh, do the UV mapping. So here I got the grandpa looks exactly the same as UV, uh, uh, as the uh, look in Unreal. So now if I open the UV editor, um, click grandpa, you can basically see uh, this is how the UV gonna overlay on top of the uh, current mesh. Right? So here, uh, if I, for example, pick a face here, right? now here if I use W to move, you can see this is actually the location for this yellow color <coughs> jacket. So if I zoom in, I can use F you can see this is actually the UVs relate uh, to that jacket. So that means if I go to UV, select all the points in that UV, I want to change the jacket maybe this time to, I don't know, um, let's do something stream uh, to something like a gray color, or maybe to a brown color. So just need to relocate this to the brown zone and click select all right now you can see this became brown color so same thing you can do for example i want to change the um, bear uh, so here if i choose uh, if i just make a selection again this is some maya stuff but if you're not a maya user you're probably gonna find whatever program you feel comfortable with so if you use a w um, I'm actually moving the UVs, right? So here, if I using this green color arrowhead, you can somehow see this white color um, UV is actually located in this white zone. So you know this is actually control the beer. Then I can change this to uh, W. I can move this to dark gray into this zone. Uh, then if I select, I see the black beer will show up. So this is how you customize the look of the character. Um, you can do something more extreme if you like. Uh, usually I don't do that, but I just show you really quick. Uh, if you, uh, you have bones, let me use Ctrl H to hide the bone for now. So here if I pick up the face, um, if I you know, holding Shift, you can add in the, you know, these geometries into your selection. Right, so I have this bunch of faces selected. Uh, then I can do the new UV mapping. Uh, this is in Maya stuff. Uh, so UV, I will do probably a planner mapping. Right, and uh, okay, I can do, can do the, I don't want to do planner mapping. I think I can do automatic. I, let's see. Oh, I do the best fit um, normal based. Well, let's do a planner mapping because I think this is easier. You can see the result. Oops. 
Yeah, I've really used Maya for a long time. We basically create a new uh, UV set. I probably want to just simply rotate. Um, now, why am I rotating the faces? That's strange. I'm trying to rotate the UV. Oh, I just didn't click the right one. It's pretty tricky. You have to click the right cross. So you can see this UV mapping is actually now control this portion of the physics. Right? So that also means here uh, you can actually see this UV is showed up as this you know orange color. And then I can you know maybe find something cool uh, for grandpa's jacket. I don't know. Um, do we have something like a good logo? We don't. Um, okay. But that's okay. Maybe a security. Uh, just show the points. So if you do have um, you know customized portion of the geometries, uh, you want the, the grandpa be you know have that kind of jacket. Maybe I will just do this. I think this one is pretty cool. Uh, a logo like. Yeah, maybe this. All right, that's nice. Uh, then I'm. I think I'm ready to transfer this new jacket, this new look, uh, into into Unreal. Right. So I will save the file. Uh, save this into my thing. This is Maya. I will give this guy a name. Grandpa new to okay uh, just uh, keep in mind I have still uh, the group right the geometry is under the group but the root does not so shift H turn on then I'm going to export I don't need this window to oh. and then I will export selection I will give this as a BX file I will give this guy name grandpa new to Done. Uh, then I'm going to transfer this uh, back to Unreal. I uh, just one more thing is someone you might wondering what exactly is this thing? You know this hierarchy here. Uh, this is basically the IK handle. I guess it be, depends on how the rig was done in the first place. So it's left some of the garbage. Uh, you can't really use an IK here because it's basically has already been deactivated. Uh, so keep in mind this is something left over. The only thing you need to worry about is uh, how the bones uh, associated with the body, this should still working pretty well. Right? So just keep that in mind. So here back to my file, I'm using this uh, from Keaton's folder. I think that's earlier file. I'm going to just transfer grandpa new to right back into this. Why transfer? This is tricky. Uh, you do not need to create a new rig because this ones come from the boss female, right? So I want to use exactly the same uh, female boss. This is the original rig uh, name. So this will going back to the original rig. If you maintain the hierarchy exactly the same as original and import, it should work pretty well. You don't need to get any, you know, reposition the bone or adding new bones. Everything will just come in as a default. So here I should be able to see grandpa. This is new grandpa, right? So you see the hierarchy start with the root. That's exactly the same as the original rig. And also if I drag it here, I should be able to apply the original animation. Because uh, all the animation, you know, here, let me just copy them right here. I will just drag it, but it should work pretty well because uh, they share the same rig, so all the animation is still being shared. Okay, so that's the whole process about how to bring you know he has a cool jacket with a portrait on the back. So this is the whole process how you can bring a character from Unreal you bring into whatever program you feel comfortable with. Um, it could be. Um, 
Blender, could be Maya. Uh, you do some editing, play with the UV, play with the texture. As long as um, the rig does not change, what I mean is the hierarchy right, is still the same, you should be able to bring this back uh, into Unreal. Uh, so a common issue we find out is the root has to be under the root. Right? There's no other group nodes on top of it. Um, other things you do want to actually be uh, careful is uh, usually I would not suggest you adding anything new or do some significant change for the geometry because this will cause issues like if you move the points up and down or if you did um, let me just hiding this control H oh, actually control Z I want to hide the uh, control H the skeleton. So if it is anything significantly different from the original one, uh, for example, I want his head to be pretty big. Um, so let me just do something shame. So here, let me turn on the soft selection. Um, I've been doing this for a while. Okay, here, soft selection. Um, and then pick up some points. Uh, so give a little bit softer edge. Right. So here, if I make his head really big, uh, you, you will somehow see the arrows or some weird bones. So he has a really big head now, right. just for the <laughs> sake of demo. So here, if I'm going to, you no know, shift H. Yeah. So if I transfer this back, right, export selection. I was using grandpa new to just override the existing one uh, to get my point. Uh, just replace it. So here back to uh, Unreal. So this is the original one. I need to right click. I will do re-import. Right. So you got a big head. I think this one is actually not too bad. Uh, the big head still works, I assume, because all the animation is still there. Uh, see, his head is moving actually pretty naturally. But my point is, if you shift it, these points too much, uh, it start to uh, deviate from the original bone uh, because each point has a weight uh, attached. Uh, this is called a bond to the skeleton. You will get some weird effects. So do not add um, or remove things uh, too different from the original model. I think that should be fun. Um, if you want adding new things like a hat or a jacket or some accessories uh, to the body, I think it's fun as well, as long as you can bind that geometry to the original bones. Uh, so that could be a different tutorial I cover in the, in the future, how to customize uh, you know, with accessories. Okay, I hope this will be helpful uh, for you to customize uh, the characters in your, in your game.